Hello, welcome to 5 Minute Software Testing Tips. Uh, today's topic is uh, Agile testing and more specifically around uh, regression testing. So I'm going to spend about 5 minutes talking about regression testing in Agile environment. Okay, so I think there are uh, quite many different sort of descriptions or definitions around Agile development. Uh, for me, I think the core part of Agile development, uh, besides these uh, processes like Scrum or Kanban, uh, is a small, iterative, incremental de development style. I think that's the core part of an Agile development. And this particular setup actually allows a project team to react to change more easily, uh, interact with the business more closely, and also it allows the project team to work on the most important thing and all the time. So I think that's the beauty of an Agile development, I think. Um, so the thing that I'd like to mention today is when you're doing an Agile development, uh, by end of each iteration, the project team needs to know the comprehensive status of the application. Uh, I think this is another a very important aspect of an Agile development. So yes, uh, we are making a small incremental change to the application, uh, but it always has a potential impact uh, to existing features or the application as a whole. So we need to make sure that we are truly making incremental change to the application. Right? So by having this uh, checkpoint of the comprehensive status of application, uh, the the project team can uh, decide what to do next. So if uh, this comprehensive regression testing result shows no issue, then the project team can move on to the next iteration with confidence, right? And if there is an issue uh, with the regression testing result, uh, then, then the, the project team can decide what to do with that issue. Um, it can be prioritized and it can be addressed quickly. I think. Um, but the challenge here is that how can we get this comprehensive regression testing result in a such a short amount of time? I think, I think this is a really big challenge. Uh, and it really requires a Doppler regression testing strategy. I think this is really important part. So what I recommend uh, uh, for this regression testing strategy is, I guess first you need to clearly define what comprehensive regression testing is. So, this one requires, uh, you know, dev team and test team get together and think about uh, what test result will represent the comprehensive uh, status of this application. So once once we see the this list of uh, result, then we can tell uh, the application is in a good state or bad state. Uh, and this list can be totally uh, depends on the context of your application, right? So some application is uh, memory sensitive, some application is load stress sensitive, or some application is sensitive about performance. So we need to think about this non-functional uh, you know, aspect plus the, the functional aspect as well. Um, the second thing is, uh, I think automation can be very helpful. Um, so this regression testing uh, normally doesn't really require uh, humans' uh, creativity or thinking process. It's just done uh, operating sort of a predefined, uh, predefined actions, right? It's some, some say this is just a checking. Uh, it's not even a testing, right? So uh, we can utilize this automation. Uh, you can spawn a lot of different tests with the multiple sort of... Uh, uh, servers or systems and whatnot. So automation can be useful. So think about how you can utilize your automation. And third thing is you need to have a really good testing infrastructure structure. So this is this may not be your control, uh, but you need to be able to push them, uh, push your lab team or whoever that owns the testing infrastructure. So you should be able to come up with a good uh, environment easily and you can you should be able to easily de deploy your thing. And you should be able to easily execute your tests, like performance memory tests, or the stress load tests, or functional tests, or UI automation on on unit tests and whatnot. So it should be uh, you should have a very very good testing infrastructure uh, structure to execute this test. So that's about it, and thank you very much. Bye.